The dot product is used to find the angle between two vectors. So I have a vector here, and a vector here. It would be this angle here. And it's denoted a dot. The dot product. And this is equal to the modulus, the magnitude, sorry, of A, the magnitude of B, cos theta. And so if the unit, so if A and B are unit vectors, then these will both be 1. You can get rid of them. So then it's simply A dot B equals cos theta. Theta equals cos minus 1 of the dot product between A and B. OK, I'm going to create a new file. Control N. Control N, yeah. Go to my template. Next, I'm going to call this dot product. And if you remember earlier, I had a triangle, a right angle triangle, which if it had lengths 1, square root 3, we'd have a hypotenuse of 2, and the angles inside would be 60 degrees and 30 degrees. So I'm going to create two vectors. I'm going to create this vector, and I'm going to create this vector. And so this will be able to verify if I get 60 degrees, and therefore I've done it right. So I'm going to create a vector at 0, 1, 0. No, at 1, 0, 0. So Control Shift I. So import vector 3. And then I'm going to create another vector at 1. No, that's not square root of three, zero. And now I'm going to cos theta. Remember earlier it's there. It's a dot b equals cos theta, assuming the magnitude of A and B are 1. So I'll make sure to normalize them. So I'm going to say, actually I'll name these A and B for simplicity. A B. So A dot B. Simple as that. And to find the angle, it's going to be fast dot anti cosine cos theta. I'm going to name it theta. Theta. I think goes to play and it should be 60 degrees, but it won't because it's in radians. So I'm going to multiply it by the constant radians to degrees, and that's right. Control that green, bring this up. Theta equals zero. Okay, well that didn't work at all. Let's think, guys. That's because I didn't normalize it. Um, that should already be one, but I'm going to do it anyway. Normalize local means that it doesn't create a new vector object. It's going to modify the existing one. Normalize local. Let's try that. Success! Hopefully you can see it. I'll bring it up. Hopefully you can see it. <laughs> okay.
but you don't always have to do that because Jamie comes with a method already built in, which is called angle between. So I can just say a dot angle between b, which will give me the exact same thing. And I will confirm this anyway for your viewing pleasure. Run it. Didn't really need to extend simple application for this, but oh well. Oh man, it's making me look so bad. Yes, run it again. Come on, 60. Yes! See, I'm not a complete idiot. Just a big one.